the Grand Family, and we are making Hard Day here today. And it is, what is the day today? Is it 23rd? 23rd. 23rd of November, right before uh, Thanksgiving. We are going to make a mist. We're very excited. We're going to put our fingers in it. We're going to do a lot of a lot of uh, uh, rolling, and we're going to pray that this turns out really, really well for you guys. Because <laughs> you guys want hot dogs that I get to teach my daughter-in-laws, and they're going to be able to teach their daughters. Yay! Or sons, or whichever. <laughs> or dogs. It does have to be, yeah, or dogs. It does have to be passed from generation to generation. So what I've been asked to do is to go ahead and just give a few tips on what I do. I'll try to do that. <laughs> uh, I've already mixed this together uh, this morning and it's the recipe, you've got the recipe, so I do not have to go through this, but it's just a matter of mixing it to the point when you're, put, when you're using your, your blender, it will get to a point where you can't blend it anymore. And so that's when I typically stop. I, liked, I, I know that there are lots of um, different kits out. Uh, for me, what I like to use is a, is a countertop, and then I just put my flour on the countertop. I don't want to put too much flour on it, but, it's, but the most important thing is, is that you don't let the product stick to the counter, otherwise it gets to be so frustrating that you, you pretty much pick it up and you throw it in the garbage can. So, I like to take about this much of the dough. I don't want to take so much that it gets too frustrating uh, working it and, and, um, and it becomes too big. Sometimes when that happens, um, it's just too difficult to roll out. So especially when you're trying to get it thin. The, the most important thing about Lefse and Hardanger is to get it to the point where you want to get it as thin as possible. I remember Phyllis used to say, um, you know, she would just keep rolling and she'd roll and she'd roll. And, um, and, and her pride came in getting it so thin that she could barely get it onto the grill and, uh, and oh, it would be so delicate. And I think the funny thing is, is that when she first started making lefse for the family, they were all, it was so thick, they were all just really polite. And I was just telling her, oh, mom, it's, it's, it's so good, but it really wasn't. It wasn't that good. So, but you know, there's an old saying that if you complain about about your left so or your hardinger, we're as we as the cooks are not going to cook it anymore. <laughs> it's up to you. So I'm right now. I'm rolling this out. I'm using it. I'm try, I try to use a, a fairly light touch to it. Otherwise, it will stick too much. And I'm going to use my little spatula or whatever we call this. I'm not sure what the technical term is. Shimmy, shimmy stick. The, oh, oh. Shimmy Lindsay stick. has named this the shimmy stick. So, when I'm rolling, I like to start about in the middle, and I, I lightly, I put my put it down and I lightly come up with it. If you push too hard on it, it's just going to stick. Um, I'm just going to keep rolling this until it's as thin as I want it to be. I think just maybe one more time might do it. This is a perfect surface to use. I don't know if you can get rid of the squeak on this. I'm not, sure, I'm not so sure about it. oiling it. Okay, so this is the last time that I'm going to roll and it's ready to go over on the griddle, which is it. It's heated to 500 degrees and it's on a, it's a, it's an actual left side griddle, which I'm sure each one of you will end up having one of these. And it's, um, it's a Teflon coated. My first, my first grill was not Teflon coated. These are so much nicer. So with Hardanger, we're cooking it only on one side and it really is not gonna be cooking uh, for that long. We're looking for it, you can see it's still cooking. And it, you see a, a bubbling effect on it. We'll check it again. See, it's starting to look that nice light brown. I may just leave it for just a, a just a, a little bit longer. All right. 
and I'm going to take this off. Sometimes it gets a little bit of excess flour on it. All right, and I'm, I just pile these one on top of another, and we keep them underneath these towels so that it, it kind of steams, and they'll continue cooking, and it'll help. It actually is going to help keep it more, a little more moist. We're on. All right, hi again. Uh, at this point, I'm going to be going ahead and putting the, the it is a combination of butter um, that's been warmed up to room temperature, and it's mixed with, it is mixed with sugar and it, with white sugar and with cinnamon. And this is the part that guys always say, make sure you get this on thick enough. The thicker, the better. In actuality, these hardanger, I usually don't even uh, spread this until I have all my hard, hard excuse me, my hardanger cooked. It's just easier. They're they're cooled down. You don't want your hardanger to be warm when you put this on, otherwise it will melt. So you get these spread like this, then I fold it in half. I typically cut off the edges so that I have nice clean edges. We don't throw that away though. That goes in a whole separate um, baggie and that's what we use to snack on. All right, now we're gonna slice these. It's usually about, a, about an inch to an inch and a half. And they're ready for eating.